Hello everybody, it is Ed and today we are going to be doing the Champion Review. This, this book is the third book in the Legend Trilogy, the Supposed Trilogy. Now there is the book Rebel, which is out, and I don't intend on reading that. Uh, I asked my sister Ari if I have to read it, and I think I, I cut, cut it close and I don't have to read it because I don't care for this book. This is the highest rated book I've actually rated within the whole series, because it's the only decent book, I believe. So I will be going into that, but I will not be reviewing Rebel in the very uh, foreseeable future. So if you're really interested in that, and you don't care about my views otherwise, you can just leave. And that's totally cool. Cool. But first of all, I did rate this book two stars. Starting off from the great ending of the last book, I really found that the beginning was not so engaging. It was, uh, although, you know, we kind of have a small time skip or some kind of gap within the emotional narrative here. And I, I did find that, you know, interesting, but I didn't find it particularly engaging. Most specifically because we kind of have separated the two because of what has happened in the last book. And while going on through this entire story, we really find like, you know, the greatest parts of the story are really, are not specifically when they're separated, but when they're together, but they're, you know, there's this conflict going on between them. That's the most interesting part of the story, in my opinion. And uh, when we kind of separate them completely, we eliminate all possibility for that conflict. All we have is this inkling of maybe there is a conflict. And as soon as that kind of conflict does come in, after I believe the second chapter or something, or third chapter, we finally get into like the real meat of stuff. Uh, and also, you know, the, the entire Eben storyline. What's his name? Eben? No. What? What's his name? Eden, Eden, his name is Eden. Oh my God, that's so, oh my God, Eden. Okay, so this guy, this kid, uh, he had a whole storyline and I don't care about his storyline at all. Uh, it kind of like finally finished off in this story. And uh, although I didn't mention it in the previous review, it, it was it was so boring, it was uh, unbelievably boring. I didn't care about him at all because we had almost no time to develop him. In this book, we start to care about him because we finally have him in the vicinity and we can actually talk about him. So we do have an improvement in that regard, but overall that entire plot line of uh, him concluding was not so interesting as it was kind of just having him in the main storyline alongside Day and their conflict of uh, relationship is far more interesting than having it any other way. Then we have, uh, what's her name, June and Anden who have this relationship that's just confusing and I don't, I, I don't mind it it's not a bad relationship but I do think that it's very average and it could be done a lot better there are a couple moments where we do have a very engaging uh, back and forth between the two and we do have an engaging plot line regarding both of these people but more more times than not it ends up being very average and uh, the relationship not, isn't, does not end up being anything special. So that's the general overall of the book, but I wanna go on to specifically the middle and the end. The middle uh, was engaging. It was legitimately engaging. I was actually uh, very interested in what was going on. And then the ending was awesome. It was a very, very great ending. Uh, there's certain parts of the ending, like the exact climax I thought was a little bit flat because of the way it was written. Uh, I didn't mind it, but immediately after the climax, apparently the ending of the actual book, the final ending is fantastic. Um, my sister Air, she loved it. Uh, she was crying. Uh, she, she finished the book and she came downstairs and she was crying. Her, her face was all red. She was like, I just finished the book. And I'm like, is it really that sad? I didn't know that, but uh, I read it and uh, I didn't even tear up a little bit. There was, a, there was one part where it was very sad. And that was clearly the part that she was crying about. But what really annoyed me about this, which is very, very big. What really annoyed me about this very sad part is that immediately after the sad part, the sadness is undone immediately. There's no reason for it. It's like, it's so dumb that I don't understand why the author did it like that. The ending was so great. It was a great ending if she had not undone what had been done. Like there was a there was ending, right? And then we have a time skip and then it's undone. It, everything's undone. And I that's not really a spoiler because I don't you don't know exactly what is undone. But it's it's upsetting that it was a great ending and then she was she did undid it. I I might have teared up maybe a little bit if I we had just like kind of ended on that note. But I didn't because we didn't and then we just undid it and it really upset me because it had such a capacity for a great story a great ending but it really did not end well at the same time the politics previously i do want to mention this during the climax although the climax itself was very smart uh smart and uh, very well done i think that the specifics of the politics was very confusing specifically antarctica as well as the leader of the other nation i don't think it was the colonies like they were confusing they were very confusing as to why they were they like they should have had a bigger role and they should have been more important but i don't even remember any anything about either of these things, which is kind of just annoying to me in general, because I, I do know that this is the last book and we kind of just want to wrap everything up, then it doesn't really involve these two things. But at the same time, they have such an important part in the story of wrapping everything up that it seems wasteful to me to just 
make me forget about them. They're just so immemorable. But overall, I did give this book a three stars because, uh, no, I didn't. Two stars because I did feel like the book was actually legitimately good. I was very engaged throughout the middle of this book and I found that it was very, very uh, well written uh, compared to the first two books in the series. It was very interesting for me because uh, the first two books were very cringy and it sort of feels like this book has finally matured and kind of made it a very, uh, you know, a very palatable piece of art that makes it uh, that pushes the bounds a little bit and really kind of makes it a great story that just makes me happy that I've read it and it is a two star in my opinion uh, which is a good thing I do actually like this book if I do recommend anyone these the series which I, I definitely won't but if I do recommend anyone the series I will definitely tell them the third book is the best book by far it's, it's an actually good book and I actually enjoyed it but the first two books were average at best so that's kind of my review for this entire trilogy there I know that the rebel does exist and I do have rebel actually but if you do care about that uh, leave me a comment I if there are people that want me to read the next book rebel i will go ahead with it and i i guess you know it's, it's fun to just talk to people about this so this is my end to the entire legend series if you did enjoy this uh, this review or, or if you enjoyed all the reviews you know from the series go ahead and leave a like if you did enjoy uh please subscribe if you do like my style of content if you do like the way i review books check go ahead check out my channel see if there's anything that you might enjoy uh that i'd make you know go ahead take tell me take a look uh, if you want to see more of anything go ahead let me know in the comments down below i'd very much enjoy uh your criticism i would enjoy your comment just to discuss this book in general so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.